Well, yes, we're nearly coming up towards the end of Sunday. It looks like we're coming towards our bank holiday Monday. And yes, to probably begin with this video, we're going to take a look at five little products that I've actually haven't been reviewing for a long time. And I think many of these were made during Friday and Sunday, of course, which is, of course, today. And yes, I'm just being on the lookout here while I'm making this video. I'm actually in the lookout for that blue cargo train which is about to derail at any moment and yes that's a train that I'm just eye catching at the moment anyways enough of all the train spotting here and uh, we've got Luke on the background there pulling a slow mixed traffic train as you can see there's passenger cars and a couple of freight wagons or cargo wagons I'd say that was a fish box car of course and there's an orange troublesome truck how could you go wrong Nothing at all. It looks like this blue cargo train is actually doing well. There's no, there's no qualms, there's no gripes. I know it tends to jump off the rails. But it is a very reliable piece of engineering. Well, sort of. It's kind of more like a toy, if you look at it that way. It's very interesting, I suppose. But anyways, let's go ahead and take some scrutiny on what we've got here in this booty here before we get to see a train being derailed well actually it's not not really at all oh yeah okay we'll just have a bit of scrutiny here so I'm just gonna basically the first part I might take a look at is this very interesting great black back girl A3 variations maxi 5 pack 15 pounds 50 is the price and I think we we're going to take a look at some of the flip flap origami flapping birds British wildlife collection toys. And on the back of the packaging it looks like that. And it looks pretty super cool indeed. There's what it looks like to be a juvenile or a first winter great lap back girl. Which is possibly, I would say, great lap back girls are possibly the least of all frequently seen of all the British girls or the large girls that we see in the UK. And there's the anatomy on how to flap these birds. Let's get into this one and see how great these girls are. If i intended, but that's the way they like. Oh, look at these stunners. Oh, yeah. Well, here's a look at the adult version of this seagull here. It is, of course, a great blackback girl. And yes, this bird here looks so, so miraculous. In fact, there's also a 12 pack version here, which has actually got a much more cheap price of 14 pounds and it does flap well okay so it looks pretty big as well very large indeed I've never seen this sort of kind of interesting in hand appraisal like that I'm not sure if I could flap all of these but I dare say there's also the small ones here as well you know the 12 pack which are the A4 size ones here and yes like so many times these larger size uh, A3 birds actually tend to break off so easy. If you look at that, some of these can easily break off, but nevertheless, they might develop holes rarely, but that's what I'm saying. This one here is a fourth winter plumage, uh, great black back girl, and the way it looks like. It's got the pink right there, and it's also got yellow out there with a black ring in the middle there. These ones there they look pretty cute. This one here is a first winter because it's got the black beak. But this one here is a second winter uh, great black back girl. They actually confuse me with herring or lesser black back girl because of the wings on the adult. But also the pink legs as well that you find on herring girl. And uh oh, it looks like I've got a train crash. Wow, didn't I realize that? It looks like we have. And I uh, don't think it's going to work. No. Nah. Well, let me just go ahead and rerail this train and make sure that the video isn't going to be totally delayed. Oh yeah, let's see how this one works along the way. Oh yeah, let's get this train back on track. Okay, turning on. Yeah, what do you think? There goes Luke pulling that slow train. I don't know why I waste time on trains, don't I? <laughs> Okay, without being a rough and ready person here, just to dedicate this one very nicely, um, these first winter and second winter birds have got the tail bands, but these white ones there, this is a third winter herring girl, because I can tell by the looks of it, of course, it develops this colour we are here. Okay, so it's quite a nice flyer, 
I mean, it's not that bad. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Oh, oh, there's a train coming in. Yeah, coming through. Now, uh, sometimes trains can take over the video, but they don't tend to do it badly. Anyways, that's all of the girls here. I've actually noticed that the only one I can see it's named, it's the adult one. It says, Great Blackback Girl. I'm not sure if you can see that. But that's what it says there. Great Blackback Girl. Sorry for the five second delay here, but I could tell you what. This is actually going to be quite amazing in the way flip out toys are developed. Uh, but nevertheless, they look pretty cool. I'm not sure how you repack these, uh, but they look totally interesting indeed to me. I've never seen uh, great blackback girls in my life. I've seen Helen girls and lesser blackback girls, but I've actually never seen great blackback girls because they are superiorly large. Or should I say, superficially large. They're almost like, well, let's just say, they almost look like a mini albatross when you think about seagulls. They just look a bit like a small albatross, but they're not really related to albatrosses in a sense. And uh, we're going to put these back nicely and gently, of course. It's very cool to see birds like that. <laughs> no pun intended. It was like coming from the sea, me OGs. Yo. And I think that's like the way you repack these birds, they always go inside. I think uh, what's very strange is I think the larger birds tend to prefer the larger envelopes rather than these ones there, these medium sizes. I would say these envelopes here are a bit too big for these birds. I should have just got a, a much larger sort of envelope, but nevertheless that's that one there. Here's the, um, that's that one there, that is the 12 pack of course with A3 variations of course there's five different varieties let's take a look what it's got we've got four adults and we've got well look at that we've got eight different variations which is sort of cool indeed yeah they're like miniature versions of the adult seagulls uh, but this one here is a lot more different actually I suppose these are um, fourth winter seagulls yeah, they look pretty small but they do resemble the great blackback girl really easily. Yes, yeah, it's, it's actually it's, it almost looks like they're the same, uh, but they do look different in the way they've been totally designed, or basically the way they've been detailed. Maybe that's just a clue. Oh, I see a difference there. This first winter herring girl, or should I say, great blackback girl, is actually a lot more coffee brownie than the maxi size ones. Indeed, I've just looked at early in this video. This one here is a third winter, because I've just looked at it carefully, I suppose. That there is a second winter. Okay, so these ones there, they're a lot more browner than the maxi size ones, which I'm actually not quite surprised at. Maybe this could be the most skeptical thing you may have actually heard in the Flapping Birds community, but yep, that's the way it is. And I've got to tell you what, these birds don't really look too bad after all. They don't look too shabby. Uh, maybe this could be the longest Flapping Birds toy review or the longest flip flap video I've ever made because we've got a train and yes, we've also got five flip flap products to do. So it's going to be like some sort of weird marathon until Bank Holiday Monday comes in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the highest amount of flip flap toys we can get to is seven. Or maybe up to, let's just say, I could do more than seven flip flap toys. And I think that will be very, very, very hard. I'm off to wait for maybe next year. Uh, but anyways, that's the two of the Great Black Bat Girl products here, which looks pretty amazing indeed. And I think we're going to review this one here, which isn't much of a water product. But it's the Cold Desertification Animals 5-Pack Cute Chipmunks. £16. It's actually a Generation 99 toy that I actually forgot to review. Uh, in Monday last week, and uh, this week actually, and they look like a Pokemon to me. It looks like Pat Rat. Uh, to be honest, it looks like just like a generic goddamn ripoff of a Pokemon. I would say Pat Rat, of course. Maybe Watch Og. It looks pretty cool. They're all named. I mean, how are these the chipmunks? How are they supposed to be cute? They all look like their eyes have been ticked off or kicked out. I don't know. It looks like most of their buck teeth must also have been. Um, I've got to tell you what, if you look at the artwork there, 
their buck teeth also look like they've been kicked out. That's got to be very grotesque in the wild, I'd say. And there's one more chipmunk, and they've all got this weird uh, pose, I suppose. They look pretty um, strange, but it looks like these um, little fellas, they look very different, I suppose, eh? What do you think? They look totally very weird, I suppose, eh? I mean, just look at the, the designs on these little chipmunks. They just feel a bit too abstract, I suppose. And I think it's much better if you would actually stand them in bipedal. I mean, the, to me, it, it looks quite weird, but what I would say is, is that the way they've been designed... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! It looks like that this is the second time that this train has been derailed. Now, I would say it's these points in the middle there, which are causing this train some havoc there. It looks like maybe this train can rewire itself. Uh, does it work? Yes! Oh, look at that! Woo! Oh, would you look at that! That train has rerouted itself back again! Woohoo! Can you believe that? That is incredible! You've never ever seen a toy train rerouting itself back again. That's gotta be viral. And yes, I think going back to the subject here, these chipmunks there, uh, they look like they've got the claws of Wolverine there, which is a bit too weird. Uh, but nevertheless, that's very, very cool to see. And I could, I could tell you why, I mean, I, I don't mind the um, the buffiness of the tower there. They don't look that um, quite interestingly that bad after all. To me, they look quite, um, I know they're a little bit abstract, but nevertheless, they look quite nice. And cute at the same time, I, I, I would actually say they're a lot more cuter than, let's just say, in the artwork there. Which is misleading in a very good way, because if they had faces like these, well, kids aren't actually going to realise that these guys are actually more scarier than cute. Maybe it's because of the way I'm just... Oh, sorry about that. Maybe I was just influencing people on the very, very wrong side. Okay, we've got two of these products to defeat by reviewing them. Oh yeah, and I think the first product will be this one here. Raven versus Mama, great black back girl. And what's on there? And Juvenile's 12 pack. Costs around £14.97. Oh, would you look at that? The Raven and this little mummy of all seagulls, or should I say the mother of all seagulls, this mama, great black back girl, looks really ticked off because there's a goddamn Raven attacking this little, well, should I say, large sized girl that has literally hatched a lot of juveniles. Wow, that one there must be a good mother though. But anyways, these are all the juvenile sea girls there. They look like first winter girls as well. It's got some very weird feet which looks pretty um, grotesque. Maybe I'm just saying it in a very strange way. And what's strange is, is that the anatomy on this one here is a little bit smaller than the first one that we saw. But the food that we've got is a starfish and a chicken leg. Which is in the shape of a drumstick. So let's come in and do the unpacking and have some fun. I I do love the extra detailing that they put with this raven here. And we'll see what it looks like. Oh yeah, there's all the boogie inside here. I think that's probably about it, but I think let me have an inspection of the chicken leg first. I think at first glance it looks quite um a bit narrow in a sense. Yeah, so I would say it's like an ultimate toy view today. Um, it looks pretty nice. Uh, a bit small, but it looks so, so cute and cheap at the same time. Mind you, I've never seen it. Uh, it looks pretty um, small. I actually had my own. To be honest, I actually had Nando's today. That was actually quite amazing. And I actually went to um, uh, Cardiff after my trip to Mumblesbury in Swansea. Um, the reason why I went to Swansea with my dad is because I was actually encountering a rare seagull called a kitty white, which has black legs. And there's the green starfish here. Looks pretty nice. So I'll show you what a kitty weight looks like, maybe sometime in this video. And uh, it looks very, very simplistic and abstract at the same time. And yeah, it doesn't look too bad indeed. And uh, we'll show you. Oh, look at that. This is the female of all great blackback girls, as you can see. One thing I didn't notice about this great blackback girl until now is that she has a beak feature where you can open the mouth like so. Make it like it looks like it's talking. <laughs> That's weird girl sounds and oh no. 
For the third time, this train is derailed again. Let's see if it rewires itself back again. Nope. Fail. Fail, fail, fail. Well, I'll tell you what, this is actually quite a very long video as I'm making this video, eh? I suppose we'll try and rewire the train along the way. And we'll give it another go. This is like the second time of doing this, I suppose. I've seen this train really well um, for the first time in the Spiders video. There you go, it's gone. Luke passing by. I don't know why we have to film Luke, but maybe that's the way I like to, to say. I just love filming Luke because filming trains is great. And yes, this great blackback girl is similar to the other great blackbacks in the way the wings have been designed, the feet are also designed. And yes, we'll take a look at this very, very menacing of all ravens here. Look at that. Look at the stunner. It looks pretty heavy-headed in the way it's been designed. It does look like a raven. Or a crow. And yes, it's got the wedge-shaped tail, as you can see. It looks pretty attenuated, if you ask me, I suppose. And it's got a grey beak. And it's also got grey feet as well. And the eye looks very, very red indeed. It looks... It does have the very, very perfect feature of symbolising death and being an, a bird of omen, which is good to know. And all of these seagulls there, they're literally like, I would say, they're juvenile seagulls. And some of these, I think this one here, uh, all of these have been painted brown except this one here. So there might be some sort of, I don't know, it could be a factory error or how did this one here lose a lot of the brown feather detailings that you would actually see on these ones there, which is very neutral to say. Uh, to me they look like first winter seagulls, but without the brown streakings on its head or extra brown on the back there, but they do retain the tail bit there on the back, which is actually a very, very nice feature. I would actually say this is actually very, very, very beautiful indeed, and we'll probably put these back for the fact that I've been reviewing so much of all the birds here and uh, I actually do love the colour tone of these birds to be honest I suppose and to be honest I actually spent my time so easily in Cardiff and um, yes it looks pretty amazing indeed and uh, actually speaking of birds apart from the Kishiway in my trip to Swansea I also had a trip to Cardiff Bay and I actually encountered an oyster catcher and I'll show you right now and I'll go and get the book right now boom straight away there it is there Collins crushing guide of British birds or should I say Collins complete guide of two British birds everything a bird watcher needs to know one easy to use portable guide well yes I'll show you what a kitty weight looks like otherwise this video will get double flagged actually before I start the take oh there it is I think that was an oyster catcher. I only see um, two of these in uh, Cardiff Bay. And to be honest, this is one of the hardest birds to find. In, in fact, waders are extremely hard to find. I think one of the other wading birds I've actually seen before is a lapwing. I've only seen these, only seen one of these, maybe two of these when I went to, um, what's that place in Stafford? Or is it Chase Water? I think it was. I've actually seen two of these oyster catchers here. That was a very rare find at Cardiff Bay, which is very nice, at the rafts at Cardiff Bay. And I've actually encountered, I don't think I've encountered these. I've actually seen loads of black-headed gulls, Mediterranean gulls I have. I don't think I've seen these two, but this one here is the most common. And we'll take a look at the other ones here. These two I haven't seen. Nor that one there, but I've seen the common girl, but I've also seen this one here. This is the guy I've been wanting, and now I've seen it in uh, Mumbles Pier, which is like next to uh, the very furthest place in Swansea. And to be honest, there were like loads of pairs, but we couldn't, uh, you know, I couldn't easily get into Mumbles Pier because the pier was certainly closed for a bit of restorations here. And yes, we actually noticed that the Kitty Wake actually has black legs and there they are well, anyways let's go ahead and just take a look into our last hurrah of our all flip flap products without being so rough and ready and yes it's this one here the lesser blackback dolls versus sea bream fish top pack 13 pounds 95 isn't 13 an unlucky number <laughs> anyways there's what we see looks like a um 
a little black black seagull masticating a sea bream, as I would say. I'm trying to say the word masticating. Maybe this video won't be demonetized if I say the word masticating. And another word which is going to relate into sex. I'm not going to say that. But anyways, here's that one there. That's what it looks like. It's pretty, um, very simplistic in the way it looks like. And to be honest, look at this, um, lesser black black seeker. It looks like it's about to, um, look at that. Anyways, we'll just go, go ahead and just unpack what we see here. Because I know the fish will be simplistic. And we're all, oh, yes. That's a whole lot of fish, me odies. Yo, that's a big catch. I mean, just look at the artwork of various amounts of sea bream fishies there. Very strange. Once again, we've got the lesser blackback gulls of us. But in this design like that, in the bird base design, which to me, I don't look too bad. I actually like it, I suppose. I actually do love the fact that these gulls are made like this. And that really explains to me why they're so, so amazing. Even though they don't have names, they do look nice in a very interesting way. And they're all done with, um, apart with the white piece of paper, I suppose, there's crowns and pastels and chalks and things like that that make it so, so easy to be waterproof in water, I suppose. They look pretty nice. And yes, the best thing you can do with these little seagulls is that you can clip the little fishies into the big stair, which is very, very tricky. See that one fits in. Yes, it does fit. There you go, we've got these ones there. Let's see, look at that. Some of these are shocked, I'm pretty sure. Let me if we can get a bit of a closer shot. I'm pretty sure some of these fishies do look quite shocked. Well, I can tell you why my heart will be beating hard. I mean, just look at the beautifulness on these um, toys. There's this one here, clearly he's got a shocked face. Uh, maybe on the other side, I don't know, because these fishies, are, they look like they're overcooked, to be honest, I suppose, but in a very monochromic uh, type of colorization, I suppose. And it looks like, but nevertheless, it looks like we've just hit the 23 minute mark, which is quite amazing. Now, I gotta tell you guys, I, this video has been one of the longest I've actually just made on my YouTube channel, which is just chronically amazing. Really, my first out videos go up to this sort of duration like that. So anyways, I hope this video has been very, very long. And as always, thanks for your time, and thanks for watching this video. Give this video a thumbs up. And I know long videos don't work on YouTube, but anyways, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want me to make more of these videos and not what not, I'd say. And as always, thanks for watching, and... Bye for now.